Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have March 2016's favorites. Um, and so this is just a bunch of things that I have used in the month of March that I've really enjoyed using. A lot of items in the makeup section that you'll see, I've been, I do a rotation of my makeup, kind of what I do with my clothes. I always bring spring, summer out of clothes and same with makeup together at the same time and fall, winter, I same thing, I rotate clothing like I do makeup. So I'm kind of pushing myself away in the makeup area from the real darker colors. Not that I had a lot, but you know, darker colors, uh, jewel tones, that kind of thing. So it's allowed me to this last month to really bring out more of the spring looks, which I am wearing everything that I am mentioning. Everything that's on my face, I should say, is there is a favorite in here. So anyway, so with this one's favorites, we've got skincare, which has been a big thing for me. I love skincare and I don't really get a chance to talk to that very uh, talk about that very often. I've got skincare, makeup, um, I've got the very end, I'll have uh, three of my favorite candles that I had burnt in the month of March. Um, body care, and an item here that is new for me in the wax community, it's, but we'll get to it. it. Sounds weird, don't worry. It's not some S&M kind of thing. <laughs> Let me just put it that way, but it, it's, it's a melter. <laughs> just, anyway, again, <laughs> weird. Uh, we'll start with skincare. Um, I had run out of this for a while. I didn't use a toner for quite some time. And with me, some people like to prefer these toners just to, to spray and then wipe away. I actually spray and leave. And I repurchased a Breath of Fresh Air from Blush. And I really love this. So basically, um, I will wash my face. Um, I will wash my face and then I'll spray this and I'll put an oil on whether it's morning or night and then follow up with other items. But I put that on, uh, spray that on my face. I don't wipe it away. Some people prefer to do that. So, um, a lotion that I started, I actually started this at the t mid February, but because it wasn't really, I didn't think it was very fair of me to mention it, uh, in my February favorites because I really didn't have it for a whole month, but it is a favorite. Um, Vichy Live Active Supreme. My friend Tammy from Rexall gave me this as a sample. It, well, no, it's a full size, but she gave me this to try. She said, you know, you know give this a shot and, and let me know how, what you think. First of all, it's got a mirror on it. Oh, well, there's my outside. Um, so this is fantastic. I use this as my night cream. Um, it is so silky smooth i really love it and if you can get to it most drug stores um at least in canada i don't think it's an exclusive brand to canada but i could be wrong i know there's a few brands out there that are only for canada but if you get vichy um i'm 37 i'll be 38 this year so that's my skin i have combination oily very oily in the t-zone that's where i am but at nighttime i like to moisturize with this this is fantastic i love this i'm like halfway but halfway down now so I've used quite a fair fair chunk of it to say that I've st it's still a favorite um Kate Somerville exfoliate I've talked about this if you watch what's in my shower you know that this is another um, sample size that I received in one of those Sephora boxes that comes out with skincare that's the way I find out some new favorites this is one of them and the next two items I'm gonna be talking about are also items I found in the Sephora um, box of skincare goodies to try. Um, this is fantastic. I believe it's both a physical and chemical uh, exfoliator. It's green and it's got a little smiley face. And like I said, I have a what's in my shower that I just uploaded. It's green in color. The smell reminds me of like, like pineapple, pineapple, pumpkin, pumpkin pie, spices, that kind of thing. Um, so I absolutely would recommend this. Anything here that I'm about to show you, if I would absolutely recommend there are some items of course that I'm not sure if they're available anymore that kind of thing these next two items were in the same skincare Sephora box that I've picked up this Kate Somerville and I am in love now I have so much skincare to get through but I know that there's gonna be an, a Sephora sale coming up like 15% or something like that in April but I'm not getting these next two items then because I have so much to use before I'm gonna say November when they do the next one after that 
And in that same box, I got the Luna Sleeping Oil Night Mask from Sunday Riley and Good Jeans all in one lactic acid treatment, Sunday Riley. Use this in the daytime and use that at nighttime. Holy cow, I love this. Yes, I almost swore and I know I've done it before, but trying to be good. Um, I work around guys every day, all day, and I volunteer in a fire hall. Trying to be in my good place right here. <laughs> anyway, um, so I will absolutely, this is on my list to get at the Sephora VIB. I'm a VIB Rouge, so I'll probably get the first week or first few days that they allow it, the sale. But not till the fall because I have so many other skin treatments that I need to use up. Um, before I use these but I would absolutely recommend again I've already told you what my skin type is I don't have finicky skin this is an empty by the way this I have enough for tonight and that's it it's got a, and this one as you could probably tell it's got a dropper it's kind of a green in color so and I have oil, like I say oily t-zone um, uh, wash my face spray that spray put this on at night oh so good okay okay um, all right, so let's go to the body shop. I haven't really talked about body shop much. I haven't been there for a bit. I stocked up after Christmas. They had their, you know, uh, after Christmas sale, and that's when they bring back um, some of my favorite lotions. Uh, this is one of the very few raspberry scents that companies get right. Um, I've talked about that in candle talk uh, with raspberry, like berry scents. It's really hard to get the real berries. Um, this is bath or whoa. This is body shops. Early Harvest Raspberry Body Butter. It's hydration for dry skin. I don't care, I put it all over me. It's so good, <laughs> I love this. It it smells like you were about to eat like a, a ripe raspberry. You can tell I'm a little OCD, I don't like, yeah, see, you can tell. A little insight, as if you didn't already know, but absolute favorite of mine. And with that, I out, actually, like a year ago, bought this, was like, Five dollars. It was the Early Harvest Raspberry Eau de Toilette, and I like that. It doesn't. It doesn't linger very long, but um, I've been using that in the combination with that lotion. Okay, so hand lotion that I had to talk about because it's still out there right now at Bath and Body Works. Been in love with it. I haven't been to Bath and I'm so good. I haven't been to Bath and Body Works in like three weeks. Probably be another couple weeks before I go there again. But the Fresh Le Watermelon Lemonade Nourishing Hand Cream. It's so good. It's just the right amount of sweet lemon and watermelon. Love it. Mm, smells so good. Um, okay. All right. So something I pulled out. I'm wearing all my cheek. Actually, because the sun's better on this side. I'm wearing this as a blush today. It's. I, I love this palette. First of all, I've, I've brought it out in favorites before, but. I've been really pulling out the blush in the middle and I don't know the name of the blush because of course this is before they put names on their items here. This is from the Tarte's Rainforest After Dark palette. Um, it's the blush in the middle that I have on today. It's kind of hard. I have natural light so kind of hard to see. Something I'm not sure if it's available, Clinique does some really great little duos when it comes to eyeshadows. I have had, this is the second one I purchased because I went through the first one like years ago. This is the Clinique's Color Search Eyeshadow Duo in Strawberry Fudge. So good. Now the brown isn't necessarily like the, I, it's not very intense so I have to build it up quite a bit. But you've seen a, some people have been commenting on my makeup lately and I've been wearing a lot of this lately, which is this mainly on the lid and the brown in my outer uh, corner. So anyway, there's that. And a new favorite base is uh, the Color Tattoo by Maybelline Eyeshadow Color Tattoo 24 hour, barely branded. This is my 100, I'm wearing it on, as a base on my eye, eyelids today. This is 100% to me, an absolute dupe to uh, Max uh, Bear Study, which I have and I've used, and I've like, I think I'm on my fourth jar. But anyway, I've got some Mac products actually. Again, like these are some of the items I'm bringing out. Um, I don't think this is available anymore. This is the Caviar Dreams Quad. It's got Brulee, Retrospect, Eau de Bouquet, and Caviar Dreams. So it is. Brulee, Retrospect, um, was O A2 Bouquet, and Caviar Dreams. As you can see, I've hit Major Pan. I'm not wearing this one on my eyes today, but I have worn it a lot. Again, bringing a lot of spring back, and I gotta run fast because I'm getting long. Staple for me from MAC, always and forever, will be Shroom. 
This is Shroom. It is a shadow and it is a satin and it's what I always wear under my eyebrow. I don't go matte, I go shimmery. Not, not glittery, just sheen. And another thing I'm not sure if it's their regular line from MAC or not, it, it's MAC's Mythical Velux Pearl, and it is what I'm wearing on the outer part of my eye today. Really love that, so. And all over the lid, I'll just close my eyes for you, <laughs> um, is L'Oreal's Infallible, always pearly pink, the container there and there you go love it it actually for on me makes it almost look like my eyes is my eyes are dewy on the, where I put it and I don't have to add water okay on my lips right now it's a combo I've been using a lot lately and again a lot of people commented on how they really like my lip color I have Buxom's which is this a lip cream I think full-on lip cream in Berry Blast, which I picked up at Christmas in a kit of like 15 or something. And Remmel's Exaggerate Full Lip or Full Color Lip Liner in You're All Mine. So that's what I have. And other lip products I've been using when I want neutral, I've been using Maybelline's Warm Me Up. It's a hit here. I hate that when the lipsticks do that. Ugh. Again, OCD. Love the Warm Me Up. And another. One I love, it just gives like a little glow to your lips, is the Revlon's Color Burst uh, Lacquer Balm in Demure. And it smells like peppermint. The only thing I don't like about it is when it does wear off, it is a little bit of glitter that's left behind, but I don't really care. I just throw in the gloss and we're good to go. All right, started melting. And if you've seen any of my recent videos, you know that I'm starting to get addicted to melting, but you don't have to say. I, I picked this up at PharmaSafe. It is nothing fancy. I like the fact that I can put some water, like obviously wait till the wax melts or hardens, then add a little bit of water and pop this in the freezer. And I've put a couple of my candles this last month on this to melt to get some scent if they weren't burning very well. So I like the idea of this. I was in Walmart the other day and I didn't find anything I liked that it removed. Most of them were the ones with the light bulbs in them. I don't know. I'm really new with this, but I really enjoy the fact they can pop um, Max Max Welts <laughs> melt wax. <laughs> I don't know. You can pop the shit out of this. Um, you can get the freeze for like an hour. So I love that. And the three top candles for the for me for the month of March were, and these already have reviews up on my channel, so I'm not going to go into great detail. Vanilla Bean Marshmallow, a tried, tested, and true candle that is absolutely 100% company friendly. I would absolutely recommend to anybody. Love it. Perfect blending candle as well. Tequila Lime Cupcake, which came as one of my Throwback Thursday selections, and it was wonderful, and I, I really enjoyed this, and now I wish I bought more. Let's put it that way. If you saw my review, uh, you know I loved it. And last but not least is White Gardenia. And it doesn't normally come with a lid, but of course I saved my lids because I hate it when they don't come with lids. But anyway, uh, White Gardenia is lovely candle. Absolutely love it. It's, you know, have, it, we're really warm here. Like it's like freaking 15 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in, in uh, Fahrenheit, but I mean, I could open all the windows, burn this, and like you could feel like you're on the beach or something without being on the beach, but maybe have to wear a par park a little bit. <laughs> anyway, it's not that warm, but it's it's just a beautiful white floral gardenia scent, and I love it. And you guys, thank you again for sticking with me and watching the, uh, my March 2016 favorites. You guys take care and be safe.